All right, you still with me? Hope so. So here we are in lesson 10, and let's talk a little bit about the uh, device panel or what is also the mixer panel. You've seen a little bit of it already as we've gone through the course, but here it is right here in its mixer form. And if I push the letter M on my keyboard, it'll hide or reappear. M for mixer. Or I can also choose to just kind of take care of it right here as well. Now, just like the letter M for mixer allows me to bring that in and out, the letter D on my keyboard allows me to take care of the device rack. And that's what we're looking at here. So as you're working through projects, of course, there's going to be times where you need to add effects to that project or that track. And this is where we would add effects. Let's go over and grab, since we are dealing with an instrument rack, let's grab an instrument. I will grab, um, let's grab the FM4. So drag it over, and there it is, FM4. So one of the things you can do here is if you wanted to add additional instruments, or effects, you can just click on the plus here, and you've got a whole list. There, there they are. Say you wanted to add a little EQ, boom, there it is. And then another additional feature that's kind of nice, if you don't want to click there, you just want to work a little bit faster, you can right click, get the same menu, and grab another effect. It's as simple as that. And then to delete these, I simply select it and hit the uh, delete key on my keyboard, and they're gone. So this is the device rack. And it's where you're going to house your devices and your effects. Uh, let's see. Another way you can add them here. You could actually just drag the instrument or effect to the channel. Drop it here. Boom. Pops down below for you. And you can continue to add multiple effects, if so choose. Just kind of continue to drag, drop, and they'll just continue to add through here. So a couple different quick, easy workflow ways to get devices and effects into the chain or into the uh, material that you're working with. So let's see what else we've got here. I feel like let's take an e-kick and just drop it here. Drop it up one more there. There you go. Drop it there, and boom. There's the e-kick. So hit the plus button, hit the right click, and you've got drag from here to the actual device, or you can drag to the audio source or the audio channel over here. So a couple convenient ways to deal with. Um, let's move on to the next video and kind of take a look at the uh, mixer.